Today we're looking at German short hair pointers and seeing what we see. Let's go. All right, nice romantic dinner. <laughs> Get a little, little uh, table side serenation. Oh, so soothing, so relaxing. You can feel the tension just leaving my body. Listen, when you're on a romantic date, the woman, and you want to put her in the mood, nothing will do it faster than a squeaky toy. Great food, great ambiance, and live music every night. Hope they gave him a good tip after that beautiful performance. This video is working. <laughs> they're not lagging, that is what they do. <laughs> this is why they're called pointers. <laughs> Amazing how still they can hold. Such an interesting behavior that this breed of dog has. What I really like is the picture above him. <laughs> We're on the hunt. <laughs> they're stalking. <laughs> These are little uh, pointers in training. It's amazing at even this young age, you can see those pointing instincts. It's just hardwired into them. That's some tasty glass there. <laughs> little window liquor. Something you might not think about. Be careful what you clean your glass doors with. I've actually seen this behavior before where dogs are licking the glass because they taste something on it, oftentimes cleaners. And a lot of those cleaners can be toxic to dogs. Maybe that's not what's happening here. Maybe this dog is just crazy, but just something to think about. Make sure that whenever you're using cleaning supplies, it is completely dried or wiped off before your dog can get close to it. Bentley, I know that you love him. I know, but mommy needs to get in bed. She says, find a new bed, mommy. Come on. Come on. Bentley says, listen, you can go to the end of the bed. I'm not moving. By the way, nothing wrong with letting your dog sleep in your bed. People that are outdated will tell you that it's bad. It affects training. The dog thinks they're in charge. Not true. No correlation between your dog sleeping in your bed and their behavior being any better or worse. If you want to let your dog sleep in the bed, let him. Things I wish we did differently raising a German shorter pointer puppy. We got Oliver when he was eight weeks old and he's just over a year now. And I really wish that we had worked a lot more on his leash work. He pulls and is pretty reactive and honestly has no recall skills at all. I think Never that if we yeah, had spent more time working on that earlier, then we could have been able to nip a lot of his bad habits in the butt and just been able to have yeah. calmer walks and just had a better relationship with the leash and walking in general. I would definitely work more on his impulse control and patience and just being able to still listen to commands even when he's overstimulated and when we're outside. I would also stay away from dog parks because I think that that's where a lot of his reactivity stems from. The mm -hmm. bottom line is disagree. that it's all a learning process and yeah. we're just kind of going day by day. And I love Oliver so much and I'm so happy we have him and I'm glad that we're working hard on his training now. It's never too late, you know, especially with things like walking on the leash. Remember, the larger the dog, the slower they mature mentally. A large breed dog physically isn't even fully grown until about 18 months. And mentally, they're not done until about three years. So if you want to teach your dog recall to come back to you, you want to work on leash work, it's never too late. You could take a 10 year old dog with no skills and teach him everything. Now she is right in the video that it would have been easier to do it when they're younger and prevent the bad behaviors from starting in the first place, but never too late. All right, we're on the hunt for the duck. And we're gonna point. Oh, we pounced. <laughs> I thought he was going for the point, but he said, I don't got time for that. Went right in for the kill. Oh, a little treadmill action. You know, treadmills are actually a great tool for dogs when you're not able to exercise them outside. I like the kind that are automated though, a little bit better than this. There's kind where it's just the faster the dog runs, it automatically speeds up. And as the dog slows down, the treadmill slows down. Ones like this where it's fully electronic um, and are set at one speed can be dangerous. So if you're going to get a treadmill, try to get the kind that's actually made for dogs or make sure you're very closely supervising them when using them. But overall, treadmills are a useful thing for dogs. He's standing on the bottom. <laughs> Poor guy. Master has given Dobie playtime. Dobie is grateful to Master. This is so funny and so creepy at the same time. Throw him a life jacket and pull him out. I think he's had enough. High five. Too slow. Oh, she did not. High five. High five. Too slow. Oh, two times in a row. High five. Come in. High five. 
High five. You fall for it a third Come time. On, I won't do it. Come on. High five. Don't you dare. High five. High five. That's how you create trust issues. Uh, I'm just kidding. But on that point, you should always try to end something on a positive note. When it comes to training, yeah, this is fine to do. You're just playing, having fun with your dog. But I would keep going for the third time until the dog actually hits the hand. Because even though it just seems like a funny, silly game, trust actually can be lost quite quickly with dogs. Things that we think are just kind of a fun, joking game can actually affect behavior. So when you're playing with your dog, make sure that we always let them win at the end. That's all for today, guys. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what breed you want to see next. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.